Corn Area School is um, approximately 340 kilometres from Adelaide, 40 kilometres from Port Augusta. It's an area school with students from reception five years of age to year 12. We're based in uh, about the middle of the Flinders Ranges um, and we're uh, sort of at the foot of a major hill so we lead into uh, what they call the Pitchy Ritchie Pass. Pitchy Ritchie Explorer ready for departure. All aboard! The Pitchy Ritchie Railway was very important um, to Corn. It was the railway um, centre for the GAN that went up to Darwin. When the GAN railway line went through Port Augusta, not coming through Corn, and it's concerns that the town would become a ghost town. Pitchy Ritchie was originally formed in 1973 by a group of three people who saw the need to preserve what was the last section of Port Augusta to Government Gums Railway. From there the society has grown into a significant tourist attraction and a heritage railway in the district. The partnership originally started out with uh, us trying to be able to access a work placement um, and a bit of a work experience. Because we had a group of I suppose, young boys in particular, um, people were restless and were not wanting to go into further studies. Working with the Pitchy Ritchie Railway we uh, developed a course and from that course uh, the students picked up a certificate one in furniture. We do pretty much everything, it's very hands on work like Mr Mac, he gives us guidance but most of it we do ourselves. The boys tend to take over but that's just the boy thing. They have rebuilt the interiors of carriages, they have painted carriages, it is just a, a, such a diversity of jobs that they can do. And I think it's a really great thing to get out of the classroom and just go and work on the trains. The students can then go on and look at TAFE courses and uh, pick up their designated path or where they'd like to go in the future. Pitchy Rich is really a big business that is run entirely on by volunteers and I think that's rather an exceptional situation. But the volunteers bring many skills to, to, to the society and those skills are now being passed on to, to the students. It's given me skills that I didn't know that I had before with building and working in a group with people. I will definitely take those skills away from me and they will hopefully help me in the future. It's about seeing kids being successful and I think that's one, one of the most important things and students having pride in what they do. When you're going along afterwards and looking at it and you can think well, I've done a lot of work on that. I was a part of restoring that. NAB Schools First, being involved in the community is, is fantastic. Uh, allows uh, small schools with uh, partnerships within local communities to actually achieve more, actually go a bit further. We will be having students from seven schools coming into here and training in a, a variety of specific skills and that leads into the local community and helps us from a tourist perspective maintain money coming into our small community. My aim is to be able to give our students the best opportunities that they can from their learning because life is just full and wonderful and it's what they can take out of it.